Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome to day two of Gaming by Gaslight Plays Rimworld with COVID. Uh, yeah. Just picking this up right where the last recording left off. Well, with a little bit of just kind of fast forwarding to let our guys do something. And we have uh, <clears throat> this lovely fellow, Lawrence, claims to have woken up from crypto sleep all alone and friendless. Wants to stay with us for 19 days so she can rest and regroup, and she'll work and fight for free. She may even offer to join us. We, You know, we could always use more help. So, why not? And now that it is sort of starting to get cold, I might just accept this. I mean, the 13 Glitter World Medicine feels like the most valuable choice. Alright, there we are. Uh, let's see, what can Lawrence do? She is a really good miner, so let's actually make that a top priority. She's also a good smith, tailor, crafter, researcher. Best researcher we've got, actually, so I should probably, uh, take advantage of that to get all the, all the research we could want in genetic engineering done. Is there anything else we might want to do before that? Maybe smithing and machining? Well, we probably need to work our way up there anyway in order to get to some of the, uh, the fancier stuff. Let's see, fertility procedures, basic mech tech. Needs mechanic, a mechanic, oh, I need a special colonist for this, damn. Oh well, we can still do genetic stuff. Which, speaking of, <clears throat> oh, this is what I was talking about, a toxifier generator, I think. Pollutes the terrain, yeah. You know, you create a, like that's that's a war crime right there. But if you have a a solid, like a tunnel that the enemy has to filter down, you fill it with gas. I mean, we here's the thing. We don't force them to go down the tunnel. So if they go down it and they die due to like space mustard gas poisoning, it's their own fault. In all seriousness though, uh, the reality of the situation is more so that we should we should just contemplate uh, building up a more defensible perimeter. Also, I am always reminded that these fences are basically useless at what I would want them to do, which is to keep wild animals out. As most wild animals can actually just wander over them. I mean, uh, rabbits and rats and stuff are small enough to go through it. And bears and larger animals like mega sloths can just walk over it. So it's like, what the heck is the point of the fence? I mean, I guess if I had an electric fence, but that's probably something that you'd need a mod for. Or, alternatively, I don't know if uh, creatures can go over a fence gate, but if I built, like, actual walls around our garden, and then made sure to mark this as a non-roof area, that would keep animals out. Yeah, it's all about uh, balancing these things, I guess. What you need, what you want. There's no way this finishes growing before the winter comes, but I'm gonna expand it anyway. Just because we, there we go. Look at that. Lawrence is gonna chop up all these bricks for us, and then eventually, uh, assuming we can chop up all these in a timely fashion and do some research for us. So, oh yeah, right, 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 I kinda faded off on this, didn't I? Oh, you know, I didn't notice that, but this kinda, yeah, you can kinda see the different, oh, here it is, Xeno, uh, Xenogenetics, that's what we want. Get the old uh, bio ascension route. Gene process, is it actually really this simple? Just Xenogenetics, Gene processor, which requires microelectronics, so we do need to... Actually, we could just go this way. Skip that. Gene processor, Arcotex, and that's it. Not really sure what I was expecting. I guess you wouldn't really need that much. I want to go uh, grow cocoa trees as well, now that I think about it. Some sweet, sweet chocolate. Which also makes me kind of wish that you could make a cake in... Vanilla Rim World. I'm sure there's a mod that lets you do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
There's all kinds of things you might want. Also, how are you doing, and what's your ideology? We didn't really stop to check this sort of thing. Uh, that is not your ideology. Fidelism. Human supremacy, you're a transhumanist, you're a loyalist. Let's see, the narrative. Humanity's pursuit of technology gave birth to the all-powerful all powerful Archotex as the rightful next step in the development of consciousness. Archotex touch every human consciousness directly on a regular basis, imparting wisdom only to those that seek the knowledge of the Archotex in the end. Or, in the end, by observing humanity, the Archotex will finally understand their purpose and lift confident humanity up to rule them. Oh, also, look at that. Now we're finally starting to, like, eat on our own again. Huzzah. Alright, that's... These things are a bit unfortunate. Because they require us to do stuff. Really? You don't approve of bonding with animals? Shameful. Oh, sir. Or madam, rather. If you, uh... If you don't like dogs and stuff... What is it with everyone being a wimp and delicate in this playthrough so far? Okay, not everyone, but it seems like a pretty common trait. We'll have to breed that out of our population. With superior genetics. Anyway. Though, then again, uh, being a wimp is actually kind of useful because it means that you'll, you'll fall sooner rather than, you know, fight to the death. Which can be pretty beneficial. Dirty cooking air. My god, okay. Hurry up and finish building the wall. Okay, what, what's your problem? Immense pain. Venerated animal. Yeah, poor Leon. Poor Leon. Or maybe that's why they weren't eating it. It's because um, they weren't eating the meals because it had uh, Ibex meat in it. So I had to force them to do it. Maybe, maybe that's it. Alright. Yeah, this is pretty rough. We, we need a better chef. And also a cleaner uh, cooking environment. This is just... It's just too much. Okay. Oh boy. And you're not too happy right now. That's unfortunate. No, no, you're getting better. I mean, it, it, it's all slowly piecing together. You're gonna get sick again, aren't you? I can I can just feel it. Again, uh, sorry for my sniffling. I'm like, no, oh, maybe I shouldn't be so self-conscious about it. Well, I should because it's it's. Any, anyway, I'll I'll stop bringing attention to it. That, that's what I'll do. Oh, right, quest. Yeah, we'll go ahead and accept that. Do I go to the heart? Uh, <clears throat> to this farming worksite and steal their stuff. I don't know. All right, the waste packs have arrived. I mean, I could probably just leave them. Oh no, they are deteriorating, so that's uh, a bit of a problem. Toxic waste. Though then again, if I just leave it outside, will it... Well, it... <clears throat> let's find out what happens <clears throat> as it, uh, you know, gets uh, <laughs> Destroyed. Let's, uh, I don't know, maybe dump it down here. This will be purely for toxic waste. Just, uh, you know, try to get get a feel for... You know, that must be it. We had some, like, leftover Ibex meat, and that's what we were eating, and that's what was causing the problems. Oop. You know, we're, we're doing our best. And I feel like now is an ever excellent time to just uh, sit back for a moment and uh, just let just listen to the music and let time play out for a moment.
And we're back. So, I mean, I don't think we were gone that long. Though I kind of wonder, maybe I should, uh, I should do stuff like that more often. Like, even once I'm feeling better, is just do, like, I don't know if you'd be interested in watching it, but, like, if I just zoom out, let some fancy RimWorld music play, and then just play at speed free all zoomed out like and where we can kind of from a god's eye view watch the slow development of the colony usually without me you know actively doing anything maybe maybe we'll play around with that i don't know if that would be interesting viewing or not but we can give it a try because you never know until you try something out <clears throat> excuse me all right really good Oh, do we uh, not have somewhere to store that? Oh my god, the kitchen has finally come together. Beautiful. Let's uh, get our sandstone flooring in there. Charity, huh? 72 pieces of silver. Including a child. Oh my, oh my god. What is with their eyes? Oh, they're dirt moles. Well, what did the quest say that they needed the money for? They want the silver so they can buy back a friend who was recently kidnapped. I mean, you, you can't say no to a child, can you? I mean, I guess you can, but am I truly that heartless? The answer is no. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> Excuse me there as I... Slowly cough up a lung. God, there's so much vomit in this place. It's disgusting. Oh yeah, I still haven't replaced this with a uh, electric stove. It's like I haven't replaced all this with actual uh, shelving. And I, I should get more shelving going up here. And I think with the shelving and like all these stacks, it's more important than ever to make sure you organize things so you can find stuff. All right. Now I just kind of want to get a, f ah, the room's not quite big enough to be able to do any, anything too fancy there. But we'll do what we can. <laughs> Whew. Anyway. We're still coming along. Though, something I actually look forward to, from what I understand, children are actually really useful to have around your colony as you could set them to basically be the primary haulers and cleaners for your colony. Though I assume that you probably have to do some managing there because, from what I understand, uh, you also want to make sure they have time to learn and get their education because without said education they will not be able to um, or they grow up to be better pawns if you make sure that you get them a, a good education okay I, I guess we're gonna end up hauling all of this maybe, maybe I'll uh you know, this is what I like to see. I like having uh, more quests rather than raids. I'm actually shrink this down because I do want to focus on our researching. And in fact, I, I've been tempted for a while to try and make my own uh, storyteller that has basically like maybe one or two raids per year and a much higher rate of quests. Because I feel like raids are reactive. You have to react to the raid happening to you. And a lot of these quests are more, <coughs> especially some of the extra ones added in mods, but also just the base game ones. They're more proactive. They get you to go and do something, which I kind of like. And also they give you more choice in what to do. As I find at this stage in my RimWorld playing career, I kind of like focusing on the uh, base builder aspect more than, you know, fighting uh, stuff. Do I really want to take care of a boomalope for 15 days in the dead of winter?
You know what? I'll, I'll wait until closer to spring to accept that quest. And also, looking at our active quests again. Okay, we've got plenty of time for this, plenty of time for that. So we don't have to rush to do anything. Right now, let's just make sure that we've got... Oh yeah, you see, this is... Uh, again, like, look at, look at how messy this is. You can like hardly tell what anything is. So let's uh, turn this off. This will be apparel. Uh, not tainted. Anything that's not tainted is fair game. Uh, let's see. Okay, I also do not want m meat or food of any kind. Imogen decay doesn't appear to be the case, which is fairly merciful because in real life, <coughs> blood, blood does have. <coughs> Excuse me. Blood does have a shelf life. Ooh. Ooh boy. Yeah, and there's a nice aurora going on outside. How do you feel out there? Nice. Wait, does that actually go away as soon as you go inside? Oh, that's... Oh. That's terrible. It should last as a memory for a while. Oh well. Alright, we still haven't hauled any of this, and it is still slowly deteriorating. Oh wait, here we go. No, no, don't take this into our base, you idiot. Why? Why would you do that? Get that out of here. Honestly, some people, they, they just don't think, do they? Anyway, I guess we're going to be hauling toxic waste for a little bit. I mean, this is a lot of toxic waste. How's Iris doing? She's getting better. She'll feel much better once, uh, once Leon is, uh, gone. Or once, <laughs> once Leon's gone. Once, uh, you know, she has time to process and grieve. Which, uh, speaking of, how long is that going to be? No, oh, it's going to be just another free 0.1 days. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, your majesty. Ah, some people, they're just never happy. Anyway, I wonder if uh, our own colonists mind getting bitten. I assume the answer might be yes. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, because of minor pain. Gosh darn it, some people. Hate to see it, but here we are. Hey, I'm, I've still got stuff to fiddle around with here, as we can clearly see. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Oh good, that insulting spree didn't last very long. Is it just me, or do some of these uh, mental breaks not seem to be lasting as long? Oh, and we've got a caravan coming to visit. You know what? Maybe it's time I build this bridge. Go ahead and... Chop this, some of these trees down and... What? Oh, it must have been hunting them. Oh, good lord! Well, <laughs> that's... Oh, god. I better not lose relations because of that. You did it to yourself, and why are you stopping over here to trade? That's that's just silly. Oh no, here they come. Did, did that goat explode into... Surely not. Alright, do you guys have anything I want? I mean, I am tempted to buy some chickens, because then we can have some eggs. Tempted to buy uh, some cloth so that we can, you know have cloth. I think I'll just sell this uh, seed here. And all these clothes, <coughs> excuse me, that we're not presently using. Eh, maybe I should keep them. Nah, I'll get rid of them for now. No, no, it's always good to have extra pants. You never know when you're going to need them. All right. Oh, good. Kacha is immediately hauling that off. Good, good. That fire is going to spread over here. 
All right. <coughs> I don't think that's <coughs> anywhere close to enough to... Yeah, I'd actually prefer if you uh, took care of... Oh god, I have to actually refuel this thing? I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, now you guys come over here. Well, I guess that's my own impatience coming back to haunt me. Oh well, clean up your vomit if you don't mind. Yeah, let's, uh, again, make sure we finish this first. Take care of our own room. Then we'll, uh, get everyone else. Oh, and look at that, it's raining. Just in time. God, I love the music in this game. The only thing I kind of wish about this is that it actually showed us where the music was coming from. I think Passenger is from the P Music mod, but I could be- Oh god, why? Why are you storing toxic waste there, you fool? Honestly, some people... They don't think. All right, let's let's finish our own bedroom first, then we'll uh, we'll worry about everyone else's uh, stuff. That feels like a uh, a wise direction. All right, it's somewhat impressive. Though if I recall, Iris wants a impressive room, right? Because she's greedy. No, it's Katya, who is the greedy one. All right, so it's all coming together. Right, running a bit out of food, so we'll have to make sure we get cooking when we wake up. I really got to stop hauling all this marble, or all these stones, as it was for a good cause when I started doing it. Oh god, it's 11 degrees out here. One dissolves every eight days. Uh, oh no! She had planned this treachery all along. Where, wait, where is she? Iris, defense. Okay, that. Uh... Hey, okay, just run, run around. Oh yeah, lead her over to these guys. They'll uh, they'll shoot her dead. Oh bloody hell! Leave it at. The oh right, you're a melee. Focus person. <coughs> and just like that, instant kill. You fool. You foolish fool. What did you think was going to happen? Well, one less mouth to feed, I guess. But what a shame. Could have been so much more. Anyway, also, I guess, uh... Oh, bloody hell. Though, you know what? Another raid just in time for a dramatic cliffhanger, so let's, uh... Let us wrap things up here. Until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I will see all you in the next video.